For the sign of Aquarius, hello and welcome to my channel. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. Like I said, this is a monthly reading for November 2020. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the Hermit and it's paired with this Four of Pentacles. Now the Hermit card can be a very spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank, maybe to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the Strength card. You could be in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This Hermit card is also a card about trying to do very hard the right thing. But you want to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. Now, it's paired with the Four of Pentacles, which is about holding on to things, people, money, or maybe situations longer than is healthy, longer than is realistic. Now, when this card appears, it's definitely a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. So there is anxiety, there's fear, could be about money or maybe clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. But the key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping, it doesn't bring security. So the recent past energy, Aquarius, between you and your person, like I said, the Hermit card, which is clarified by this Four of Pentacles. So what I'm picking up is that for some of you, you're dealing with someone that's I don't, I don't want to use this word, but I'm going to use it because this is the first thing that, that's come to mind. A lot of people get offended by this word. <laughs> a lot of you are dealing with someone that's clingy, needy, clingy, needy. Okay. And it's unhealthy. And it's making you want to withdraw. So you got someone that's grasping and clinging on to you in a really unhealthy way, very unhealthy way. And like I said, it's making you want to withdraw. Yeah, so you could start to feel like, or you could start to make this person feel like the relationship is not a priority for you. Because you go, you go into hermit mode, probably. Probably more than once. You do it to clear your mind, get rid of some baggage, just to remove yourself from this needy type of energy. It's a very unhealthy, very unhealthy claim. Yeah. And this is what your person is doing to you. The roles can be switched, so keep that in mind. Yeah, they're, they're clinging on very firm. And they're resistant. They could be resistant to change also. Because if you take a look at the Four of Pentacles, it's a card that's below the word pass. You see how this man, he's on all fours. He's got his hands on his money. He's got his feet on his money. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head. And his brain looks like it's about to explode. And if a, a huge brick just fell out of the sky and 
tried to knock him over, he probably tilt and fall over, but his money will still be, he, he'll still be attached to his pinnacles. Yeah, those are pinnacles he's got his hands and feet on. When you hear, hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. But this is a love reading, so yeah, your person is clinging on really tight to you. Yeah, and it makes, it makes you just, you want time alone. You just want to be away from this person. Yeah, so that's what the per that's what the recent past energy is between you and your person now. So let's move on over and let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Well, we got the Six of Cups ends with the Three of Swords. The Six of Cups is actually a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children or childhood, so it's important not to spend too much time thinking about the good old days, because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, it's with the Three of Swords, which is about sorrow, sadness, and it's undeniable, but what's on the other side of this sorrow can be enhanced understanding and joy. So, if this is the case, you probably need to allow yourself to fully, fully experience any sadness, sorrow, or pain that comes up. You need to do this so that you can move past it. This Three of Swords can also point to maybe a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, it's, it does not make it go away. It will not make it go away. So allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up, but don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sadness for long periods of time. And I say this because if you stay in depression or sadness or hurt for long periods of time, you can get stuck there. You can end up waking up every morning thinking this is the new normal, and it's not. So don't stay there for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough, and others cannot do this for you. So that's what we got coming up. Well, it's, yeah, for November. This is a November reading. For you and your person, Six of Cups, clarified by this Three of Swords. So what I'm getting is that for some of you, you've been with this person for a while. You might start to reminisce. Yeah, you're reminiscing and thinking about how things used to be between you and your person. Yeah, there's a lot of familiarity there. So I'm thinking a lot of you people, a lot of you Aquarius have been with this person for, for a long time. For a lot of you. Yeah, yeah. Um, now this Three of Swords is... I'm getting that, wow, a lot of you are thinking about severing ties with this, with your person or distance, distancing yourself from, from your person. Um, you could start to close yourself off from your person. Uh, and you know this is going to ca cause heartbreak. You know that. Your person is going to feel rejected, but this, it looks like this is what it's come to. You, you reminisce. There's a lot of memories there, a lot of happy memories. You're being nostalgic. Yeah, November is a month that you, you start looking back on how things used to be between you and your person. Yeah, so 
I'm looking at the Sharma card. So you you you're gonna spend a, you've been gonna be thinking about spending a lot of time alone, and your person is still tr trying to cling on really tight, really tight in an unhealthy way. I'm gonna use that word again. <clears throat> that a lot of you don't like for me to use, but that clingy neediness is is still there. When you take those long walks alone, they're still clinging on. Clinging on in a really unhealthy way. It's probably hard for you to take walks alone because there they are, just clinging on really tight. So, you go into um, hermit mode a lot in November, and you start to just look back on how things used to be and probably think about how different they are. The relationship is so different now. There's there's some unhealthy unhealthiness that that's really starting to probably get the best of you. So you're closing yourself off a lot more coming up with this three of swords here and your person is feeling it they're feeling that you're you're shutting down even more than ever so it's going to cause relationship difficulties if it's already difficult it's going to cause more relationship difficulty because your person feels it they're, they're starting to feel rejected because you, you're wanting more time alone. Yeah, so, and you're looking back on maybe how good things used to be. How happy the two of you used to be. So let's move over and let's see what the challenge is. Well, we got the King of Pentacles. And we got the High Priestess. Now the King of Pentacles, it's good. When, Like I said, when you hear the word Pentacles... In the tarot, that's money, cash, coins, finance, income. King of Pentacles could be about success with money matters. When this card appears, it's a sign that now is really not a time to be a maverick, but it's actually a time to follow the established way of doing things. So when he stands for an actual person in your life, it does refer to a very masculine type could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. If it's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is a man or a person who you can believe in and trust absolutely. Absolutely. King of Pentacles is really good. This type is career focused. They're secure and committed. They make good fathers. King of Pentacles. It's a very stable type of energy. Now, it's with the High Priestess. Well, the High Priestess, it can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. It's actually a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It's also important that you pay attention to your dreams. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a really, really good idea. So the challenge, like I said, we got this King of Pentacles, and it's clarified by the High Priestess. So the person that you're that's that's that has this unhealthy energy towards you, they. They're very drawn to you. They're very attracted to you. Yeah. In a lot of ways. To them, you're like the good father that they've never had. They see you as stability. You're someone that they want to um, be in a secure and committed relationship with. They, want, they still want success with you, even though they see you withdrawing, pulling apart, or, or distancing yourself from them. They still want this. 
Yeah. They're very, very attracted to you. With this high priestess here. Yeah. Very attracted. And they want success with you still. Um, Aquarius, this person isn't going anywhere. Mm -mm. No, they're not going anywhere. No matter how clingy needy they are, they, that's probably something that you'll have to adjust to if you can't get them to change. This person really likes you. So let's move on over and let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got the Six of Wands. And it's with the Star card. Now the Six of Wands, it actually, actually signals victory. If you're anxious about a court proceeding where you want to win your lover's heart, just know you will be victorious. This can indicate some type of celebration. Maybe you could be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration. Or maybe you'll be receiving a reward for good work that you've done. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. Not Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Yeah, this is this is the Six of Wands, the, the card that's above the word outcome. Uh, like I said, you could be receiving a reward for good work that you've done. The Six of Wands makes you feel really good about yourself. It can make you feel as if you got a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Now, it's with the Star card. The Star card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired. And you'll be feeling hopeful about the future. More so than you have in a while. More hopeful about the future than you have in a while. Also, you'll be feeling more confident that your needs are being met, whether they're emotional or financial, or it could be both. Just know nothing can be taken for granted, but it is unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. Now, this is this can also be a spiritual card where you could find yourself at least for a time, feeling at one with all of creation. And it's not a common feeling. So you want to make sure you savor it. So basically the outcome, Six of Wands, clarified by the star card. Yeah, so Aquarius, like I said, you're dealing with someone that. In a lot of ways, you're no longer happy with this person. Yeah, so you do a lot of spending time alone. Um, you're looking back on how good things used to be. You're closing yourself off more, more and more. Your person is feeling it, but they're not going anywhere. They're really drawn to you. They, they still want success in this connection. They still want success with you. Now, the outcome is showing that you're, you're wanting victory, success. You're wanting recognition. You want to feel, mm, you want to feel, wow, you want to feel like a star. For some of you, you don't feel really great with this person anymore. <clears throat> like I said, I'm thinking some of you have been with this person for a long time. You don't feel... You just don't feel like you used to. You're looking for rejuvenation. I don't know why. I, I'm going to say this too. I keep getting that this reading is for... Somebody who's going through like maybe midlife crisis <laughs> or someone who's been in a relationship for a long time with this person because you're looking back on how things used to be and the outcome is showing that you're looking for, you're looking for attention. You know how they say people when they go through midlife crisis, they start to look for, um, 
what do they say? They start to look for things that make them feel great or young again. But I know this is not the case with all of you. But, yeah, you're looking for somebody that makes you feel fabulous. They, you're looking for somebody that helps rejuvenate you, make you feel hopeful about the future again. Um, you're looking for someone that gives you a lot of faith. Um, you're looking for someone that um, makes you forget about the grief of the past. You're looking for, also, that was like the star card, but when when it's with the Six of Wands, you're looking for attention. Yeah, if you see the Six of Wands, it's the card above the word outcome. This lady, she's standing on a podium. She's waving her wand from side to side in the air or up and down. And then she has all these people below her. They're, they're mirroring her. They're doing exactly what she's doing. They're waving their wands just like she is. She's getting recognition. It feels like victory. It, she feels successful. She likes the attention. She's getting her ego boost. Yeah, Six of Wands suggests that you may need someone to boost your ego while the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is actually called fire of balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. So with the Six of Wands, you get a lot of sexual energy. And there is passion and long nights spent in bed. So not only are you looking for someone to make you feel fabulous again or hopeful about the future like you used to, but you're looking for um, someone that brings, that sparks your, that lights your flame. Yeah, someone that you have a lot of chemistry with. Six of Wands for me is that twin flame type of energy. Whereas the chemistry is just automatic. You feel like you've known this person all your life. Yeah, Six of Wands is, it's pretty, it's pretty intense. It's just like, like I said, the two of you marry each other. You're looking for, you're looking for something that, that sparks your, someone that sparks your interest, that someone that can light your flame again. Because whoever you're with, you're just, you're just wanting to be away from them. You're wanting time alone. And it's happening more and more. When you're in this relationship with this person. And all you do is think about how good things used to be. They feel it. Your person can tell you're pulling away. But they want success. They still hold on really tight to you. You're not going anywhere. So the outcome is that you're you're looking for success and recognition with someone else. Someone that makes you feel fabulous, rejuvenated, more hopeful about the future again. So yeah, this is kind of a sad it's kind of a sad, sad reading, but that's what these are cards that fill out for you for Aquarius. I don't think it's going to resonate with everyone. Keep in mind, though, if you're not dealing with the, if you don't have a love interest, this could be a friend, could be a family member or a parent that you're dealing with. These readings are general. They're not personal readings. So you have to take the reading for however it resonates. So Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this resonated, as you know. General readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. Yeah. 
I think, did I just repeat myself? Anyway, I'll also put a link below for personal readings. That's what I was trying to say also, just in case I repeated myself. So Aquarius, I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. The next reading is about another four or five days. So I hope to see you then. I hope that you have a great day. 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 Day.